I've got a vendetta! But I'm still breathing! I'm still alive! You tried to ruin me! To crucify! People thought like I was gonna leave skateboarding and like join the WWF, like become a professional wrestler for, for as a career. <laughs> Everywhere I went, I was like, you're like a wrestler now? It was right up my alley. It was just something I've always been into. Oh. I went to the wrestling school five or six times. I got some of the basics down. But I never used the basics in my matches. My matches were punches, kicks, you know, weapons. Okay, I'm here, let's do it. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay, I want you to hit me with a chair and then put me through a table. Like, that's it. So I came out here to the School of Hard Knocks. I got in the ring with Jesse Hernandez and the wrestlers here. Learning to bump was the main thing. Basically, learning to bump is learning how to take a fall properly. Falling in a wrestling ring is isn't the funnest thing in the world. It's not, it's not as soft or as padded as you really think, but it's definitely not as bad as landing on the concrete or the asphalt out in the streets if you want to skateboard every day. As much as these things are, you know, choreographed or people want to use the word fake, when you get in the ring, you just really never know what's going to happen. I mean, a guy could literally kick your ass if he wants to, if you let him. One match that stands out as probably my best match I had in my wrestling experience, and that was a hardcore, a three-way hardcore weapons match that I had against Frankie Kazarian and this other guy, the Skate Devil. In this match, I got hit with everything from, you know, uh, a chair to a guitar smashed over my head. I jumped off the concession stand and went through a table. Uh, we used thumbtacks in the course of the match. Uh, you know, my head got split open. I was bleeding all over the place. And uh, I ended up spilling quite, quite a bit of blood in some of my matches. I'm going to have these hardcore matches. I'm going to put my body in situations that other people don't want to put their body into. And I'm going to come out unscathed. That match was probably the best match I've had and the most entertaining. The level of wrestling that I was doing, your dressing room was a parking lot, and uh, you walked out from the parking lot into the uh, into the warehouse arena. I mean, wrestling's pretty see-through. We all know what it is. It's a show. It's entertainment. It's phony. It's fake. That's what they say, you know. But to me, going in, knowing that the crowd understands that, knowing that the performers understand that, and yet still getting people to jump out of their seats and be entertained. I love entertainment. I love entertaining people. I love just, you know, hey, I'm going to go and do some crazy thing and, and everyone's going to jump out of their seat and go, holy shit, holy shit. Never my intentions to become a professional wrestler. I did not. I wasn't looking for a new career, you know. Nothing silly like that. It was just. It was just a matter of. I had this chance, this opportunity. These are the chase, the chase of